Uh, hi, everybody, and welcome back to Fair World's tutorials on SEO. Um, I just wanted to show you today how to add uh, titles and uh, meta descriptions uh, to your SEO. It's super important for search engine results. And when people type in certain uh, keywords on the search engine, especially for local SEO, uh, you want people to find you if they're located in your city and they type certain keywords. Uh, and how they find you is basically that when you show up on search results, um, you know, they will see the same keywords that they typed in. They will see them just under your, your, your uh, URL. So what I'm going to show you today is basically based on cPanel. Now, this account is hosted with GoDaddy. Thanks very much to Mark Brooks for allowing us to display this tutorial online. And um, thanks to everyone else who's watching the tutorials. Now, over here, when we log into the cPanel, this is based on GoDaddy. But if you have a cPanel account, it doesn't matter who's your hosting provider. Uh, you can still, um, it's still the same thing because it's cPanel. Now, this is not WordPress. This is an HTML page. And so I'm going to show you how to recognize these meta tags on the HTML page. Now, you don't click on domains. Just click on web hosting. Click on manage. It will redirect you to a page where you can just confirm. And I'm going to pause the video because my internet is slow. Oh, no, it's not. It's fine. So you can just click on manage again. <clears throat> and it's going to open up the cPanel, which, like I said, it's universal. CPanel is just a platform that GoDaddy is providing to their customers. And when you're in the cPanel, you just click on File Manager. And it's going to prompt you what, what directory you want to choose. Just choose the web root public underscore HTML. That's the very important uh, um, folder to remember because this is your uh, root folder. And you want to click always on Show Hidden Files. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced user, always be used to clicking on show hidden files because a lot of files are not shown. Not a lot, but a few, uh, such as the HD access file, which I'm not covering in this tutorial. But uh, when you come over here, you want to make sure that you're in the public underscore HTML. It's going to be on your left. And if you scroll down, you will see in bold. Don't make, don't click anything. Just, uh, you know, you can if you want, but it's, it's going to be in bold public underscore HTML. So that's how you recognize you're in the public folder. The public folder is a folder that's displayed online publicly to everybody. So and if, first things first, you want to look for your home page, the index page. Now, every home page in all HTML, um, maybe I shouldn't say all, but, but uh, all HTML uh, websites going to be index.html. And so over here, I'm just going to open up uh, Mark's uh, website. And I'm just going to you know, refresh it here really fast. So as you can see, this is the index page. Believe it or not, that's the index page. So when you come over here in the file manager, you, you highlight the index. So if you can't find the index and you got a lot of pages, just go to Command F and type in index. And boom, it's been highlighted. So I'm going to you know, just all I'm going to do is I'm going to close this over here. And what you do is you come over here. You don't highlight anything. You come over here. You look at the icon just on the left side. You, you click it once, only once, not twice. Because if you click it twice, you're going to download the file, which is a great idea. Always download your file before you do any editing. So actually, uh, in fact, I can. Um, what I can do is I'm going to show you how to download it. You just double click on it. And it's going to open up and it's going to prompt you. So I'm just going to choose, uh, this is just a tutorial. So I'm just going to click Save. So I know what I'm doing here. So what you do is when you highlight it once, I'm, I'm going I'm I'm to unhighlight it again. So you highlight it once, and you have three options. One is Edit, Code Editor, and HTML Editor. If you're uh, editing meta tags, you can't use HTML Editor. If you're editing, uh, you can use regular Edit, which just doesn't show you any colors, but the code editor is what I recommend that you use. So you click on code editor, and it's going to prompt you again. Don't worry about it. Just click on edit. Now, I want to let you know that this is sort of advanced stuff over here. So you don't want to mess with your files unless, you have it down unless you've downloaded it. And as you can see here on the left corner there, I downloaded it, um, which is the backup, right? So what you want to do is you want to understand that there's actually really awesome HTML editors, uh, code editors that you can use, that you can download. So this isn't really a place where you can edit a website like on a regular basis because it's not really displayed all that great, and there isn't really many options that you can do. But if you're changing little things here and there, you can use this. Okay. Now, it might look a little confusing, and sometimes uh, it's sort of old school. Okay, so. Just bear with me, but I want to show you how to recognize these tags. First things first, the first thing you want to recognize here is the head. 
don't confuse head and header. Head is head, okay? So the head tag is here, and if you scroll all the way down, it closes here. Whenever you see this here, that's like a door. Just think of it as a door that closes. And inside the head, I'm gonna highlight. Uh, let me just zoom out. Inside the head is gonna be all your tags. Well, from here down to here. These are all your tags and, um, and links as well. So don't worry about the links for now. We're focusing on the tags. If you're in the center of the page, you're lost somewhere, and you wanna find the title or description tag, just click in the center of the screen, only click, and press Command F or Control Z on a, on a Command F on a Mac, Control Z on a PC, and type in description. And then boom, it's gonna redirect you to the description. In case you're, you're over here, all you gotta do is go to the up arrow. Like in case you're down here, just go to the up arrow. It's the very top. Everything is at the top. All meta tags is gonna be number one out of eight. All the meta tags is in the very top. Uh, and so I don't want you to be confused here. Um, well, let me just explain something. Anything that you see in gray is a comment. So here I've added a comment and I put meta descriptions and meta title. Let me just correct this for Google search results, okay? So that's a comment, and don't worry about the equal signs, okay? So I'm gonna show you another comment. This is how you make a comment. So you come here and you put in an explanation mark, just do as I do here, dash dash, this is a comment, okay? There you go, so that's a comment, that's why it's grayed out. Now when you put equal signs like this, you can put whatever you want here. It doesn't display as code. Oh, it doesn't display as markup, rather. Um, you know, so I can come here and then put equal, equal, just so that you can see that this is a comment. But there's absolutely no need to put all these equal signs. Uh, I just wanted to show you what's a comment so you recognize what's a comment. Everything else that you see in color is, is markup or code. So I'm gonna delete this comment and I'm gonna come over here. So I wanna show you, I wanna show you something is the meta description tag. So we made it clear that this is a comment. So over here, this is a meta. Uh, this is the title, and this is a meta. So the meta, um, this is basically telling Google, hey Google, we have a meta here, and this meta is a description meta. And so the content is gonna be equals to this. And I've added this SEO now, um, and I believe Mark uh, will agree with this, but he can change it. Uh, and I haven't used any keyword planners. I haven't done any keyword research on this, uh, but I'm showing you for this tutorial, you should have a keyword planner, which I'll cover in another tutorial, and how to search for keywords. Um, you have all the tools you need, so you should use them. Now, these meta tags are tags that Google recognizes, right? This, this is for search results. Now, as you can see here, this is also a meta tag that's a Google verification. You don't have to worry about that. Um, over here, this is called uh, the OG title. The OG title is a meta tag that belongs to Facebook. So Facebook created an open graph protocol that basically allows you to put in a title, a description, that will display your URL when you post it in posts on Facebook. Because what happens here on the top, the meta description, meta title, is only for, for uh, Google search results. But the meta description and the title for Facebook, it's called the open graph. As you can see here, it's called OG, the open graph. So this is telling uh, Facebook, hey Facebook, when you paste, when a, you know, when a URL is present here, we want you to display this content, which is Brook Studios athlete highlight reels, promote promotion videos, wedding videos. Now, you don't have to do that. If you don't have Facebook open graph meta tags, that's fine. You, you know, Facebook will just pull out everything that you have here, right? Which is a default. Uh, but I highly suggest that you have different um, descriptions and titles for Facebook and for Google. Now, Facebook uh, Open Graph doesn't promote your SEO in any way, doesn't, you know, increase your rankings. Uh, it, so the only thing it does is it, dis it does in an indirect way because it allows people to see things that are relevant. So if your friends, for example, or your circle friends, they know exactly what you're doing, <clears throat> you don't really need to repeat everything because they, they all know what you're doing. So you might want to put something like get your, you know, videos done today, promotion for, I don't know, for, for a price, you know, 50% off or something. I'm just saying. So what you want to do here is 
So what you want to do here is the first thing you want to recognize over here is this, that it starts with a, with a code and it ends with a code. So like I said, this isn't user friendly, but so if I was to do this, I just deleted it. I just erased it. So between the codes, you can put whatever you want, right? So you come over here and you paste in, you paste it in all you gotta do. Uh, and now you have a description and the title over here. Again, if you, you know, you're in your HTML page, you're in the center somewhere, command F, put in title. Okay. And you're going to see a bunch of them. So all you got to do is go to the top. But instead of going through all of them, just want to go to the very top and you'll see it in yellow. And it's right over here. Now, the title doesn't have a meta. It doesn't say meta because I believe that's just how Google uh, in HTML5, that's how it recognizes it. So it's sort of like... Um, you know, like the head tag, for example, because this is actually a title. It's not really a meta, you know, it's a title, but we often say it's a meta title. Anyhow, so the title is Brooks. So this is what, so to give you an example, to give you an example, what you want to do is when you go to Google, so I'm going to go to google.co.uk and I'm going to type in Brooks Studios. And in the search results, of course, Brooks not coming up on the first page because we haven't, you know, completely started SEO. But as you scroll down, you will finally see his page. And over here, what you see here is an old description that was picked up just from the website itself, somewhere around here. Right there. So now we've added the description, which is different, which is Mark Brooks is a passionate videographer based in Berkshire, England, who believes in making professional videography available for everyone. So that's new. And what we have to do is actually go to Google Search Console. It's a little Google Webmaster tool that will allow you to re-index the site. Um, and so whenever you publish something, whenever you update something, you actually need to create a new sitemap so that Google robots can find it and they can re-index your site. But the first step you want to do is actually go to Google Search Console, which I'll show you in a later video, and re-index your pages so that you actually basically you're updating them. So Google knows now that to display this rather. Uh, and same for the Brooks Studios professional um, video production in Berkshire, you want to have that in the search results right under the URL. <clears throat> Great. So now you understand the difference between a title and a meta description. The meta description has to be under 160 characters. Now, I've seen some exceptions in the last couple of months. I think Google's changing things. I've seen some descriptions that went up to 180. Uh, but just to be safe, always open up. Just go to Google and type in character count, or you can use um, Word. Uh, so what you want to do is copy your description that you've decided to add. <clears throat> and on the search results, you see, you'll see a bunch of different tools. I'm going to pause the video because my internet is slow. So we're over here, and you just want to use the online character count tool or any of them. But some of them are pretty crappy. And I'm just going to come back over here and just use this. And again, I'm going to just copy. Uh, I'm going to copy the description here. And you just want to paste it over here, and you'll see that. Um, it's going to be over 160. So basically, it's going to be displayed right there. That's what that's what's going to be on Google. Like that. And so, if you made your point in the first uh, in the first uh, couple of sentences, then you don't have to worry about it. So, if you made your point, then you don't have to worry about it. But if you didn't make your point, then you might want to rephrase your, par your, uh, your paragraph here, your sentence, your, 
your sentence and you want to make sure that it uh, that it makes uh, sense when people look at your um, link on search results and that's all I wanted to explain to you guys uh, I hope you enjoyed my video and just uh, keep in mind that the uh, open graph I'm gonna cover in a later video but uh, I might as well just give you an example now but I'll show you an example later uh, and basically that's pretty much the same thing the only difference is it says OG title OG description and OG image so you want uh, certain images to be displayed when you paste in your URL in a post um, and in this case we chose to put in images forward slash mark dash brooks dot png but you can choose to display a different image for Facebook and a different image for uh, yeah for Facebook right and for Twitter and for uh, other uh, social uh, platforms alrighty so thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial